Alrighty, so hey guys, I know that it has been a few days, but we are going to go ahead and get right into this message because already <laughs> Satan has done a number of things that has been trying to stop me from doing this message. I mean, ugh. anyway, let me get it out. Okay, so this message I got, actually this has been a message that has been in me for a few days and it's, it's a lot of things that I've been speaking on already, but God of course gave me a revelation behind it and I want to read a few scriptures, uh, scriptures, scriptures as well. And so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get it out. <laughs> so I'm going to read my notes really quickly because I did write a few notes down and I'm just reading my personal notes word for word what I wrote down today, okay? This message is, I'm sorry, this video is going to be entitled, Don't Look Back, Leave It All Behind, okay? All right, so you've been directing me towards a new beginning, a clean slate, and a bearing of much, much fruit. Many, many people will not be able to be a part of this, nor will there be many people coming with me in this new era this or season, I put in parentheses, that I'm entering into. It's time for me to go and not look back. I'm going to be free soon, and there's no one or anything worth holding on to or turning back for. Like Lot, like Lot did, he left his wife whom turned into a pillar of salt, but she even was not worth disobeying you for. And turning around to go back for so for sorry, <laughs> I'm stumbling over my words. And turning around to go back for for something that you're not supposed to at all, because she remember she was okay. I'm, I'm gonna go into that <laughs> in the way in, in the same way when I enter into this new season. There's nothing or anyone or any circumstance worth turning back for or turning back to. Keep your eyes focused, Zipporah, and your heart focused on what's ahead, lest you turn into a salt of pure pill, lest you turn into a salt of pillar. A pillar of salt, like Lot's wife did, and miss completely out on all that I have for you or delay it, okay? So I know I stumbled over my words. Guys, there are so many people in this time and in this, this new season that are not going to be allowed to go with you. And just like God told Lot, he sent his two angels down to tell Lot and his family that you guys need to leave. I am going to destroy this city that you guys are staying and you need to leave, flee to the mountains, don't turn back for anything. So the same thing is being told to uh, me and of course many others that if there is something that you need to let go of, if there's a situation that you need to move on from and not turn back to or a person that you need to let go of and that you need to not turn back to, you need to listen, especially in this time because you don't, like I said, want to become that disobedient person that is holding on to whatever for whatever reason when God has told you not to and you're still holding on to it and you believe that you can change this and change that and no if God clearly told you do not accept this get away from this person go away from this situation don't turn back on it then you need to go you're being in disobedience if you are holding on to it and you may forfeit your blessing at that time or you may delay it and we don't want any of that during this season because God is fixing to bring his judgment upon that's the thunder here we go see the rain is coming thank you thank you Lord for confirming this God is fixing to do some judging some removing some pruning some weeding out and you do not want to be in that person's way or in that situation that God has called you out of when this happens you want to go on to your blessings you want to go on to what God has called you to do and in order to do that there are some things that you are going to have to leave behind I'm talking about major things you know when I left New Mexico eight years ago almost now I had to leave it all behind. All I had was my children, my minivan, and a few clothes, and that's it. I hardly had any money to take care of us. I didn't know what was ahead. I was just 
you know, God brought me to that scripture over and over again with Abraham, where he had to leave his country, where he had to leave his family behind in order to get to go to the country that God was going to be showing him. It was the same situation for me. And I know that that, that a breakthrough is fixing to come through in my life and in the season now. And there are a few things even now God has spoken to me. Zipporah, don't look back. Don't, don't, don't. You know, don't reminisce over this. Let it go. These people, some people that he has told me that are not allowed to go with me into this season. Yes, it hurts. Yes, I don't want to do it. Uh, it's going to be painful, but I've got to let them go. And I've got to let the situation go also. So it's the same thing for you guys. Now you think about it. Um, when Lot was leaving, which I'm going to read that story to you guys in just a minute, but when Lot was leaving, his wife turned around. That was his wife. You think that Lot was fixing to go back around and forfeit what he was, go you know, what God had told him to be obedient to with his two daughters and go save her? No, because he would have been doomed too. So <laughs> he was obedient. He kept going. He didn't look back. He flee to those mountains, or I think it was the town that God told them to go to, and he didn't look back. So it's, you got to look at it in the same situation. Take what you can get what you know what you can take with you and and leave go forfeit that situation buy leave it behind cuz it's not worth the blessings and the abundance and the prosperity and everything that God is going to bring into your life if you obey and listen to him and leave that behind because the things that you're holding on to are nothing compared to what God is going to bring into your life. And you've got to remember in this time and in this season, we're going to be stepping into our true calling and our true purposes. And we don't want anything or anyone hindering that at this time and at this hour. So with that being said, y'all, it is so important, so important for you to be obedient in this time and, and, and any time. But especially now that you're entering into your new season, God is doing some big things and he's confirming some big things in our lives, things that we never thought would even happen. Things that we never thought that we'd be go going away from or coming away from or getting out of. But it's just going to be that big. It's going to be that important for you to listen. Listen, 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 listen. Let it go. Leave it behind. Don't look back, okay? So let me go ahead and read the story of Lot and his wife really quickly to y'all. Because um, it's probably going to get kind of loud because of the thunders. I'm sorry, the rain's coming in. But the story of Lot is in... We're going to actually go to Genesis chapter 19, but I'm going to start at verse 12. Um, just so we're, you know, not, not, not dragging this video on forever. But um, let's see. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. okay. The two men said to Lot, do you have anyone else here? Sons-in-law, sons or daughters, or anyone else in the city who belongs to you? Get them out of here because we are going to destroy this place. The outcry to the Lord against its people is so great that he has sent us to destroy it. So Lot went out and spoke to his son-in-law, so, I'm sorry, spoke to his son-in-law who were pledged to marry his daughters. He said, hurry and get out of this place. Because the Lord is about to destroy the city. But his son-in-law thought he was joking. <laughs> With the coming of dawn, the angels urged Lot, saying, Hurry, take your wife and your two daughters who are here, or you will be swept away when the city is punished. So you think about it. He didn't really have a lot of time to prepare or a lot of time to, you know, grab things or put things together. They were telling him, hurry, we're about to destroy this city. You need to go. You need to get up and go now, you know. And it's in the same way. If God is telling you to get up and go now, you need to get up and go now and leave it behind. Okay. Um. So, okay. So, so. When he hesitated, the men grasped his hand at the hand and the hands of his wife and his two daughters and led them safely out of the city, for the Lord was merciful to them. As soon as they had brought them out, one of them said, Flee for your lives. Don't look back and don't stop don't stop anywhere in the plain. Flee to the mountains, or you will be swept away. But Lot said to them, No, my lords, please. Your servant has found favor in your eyes, and you have shown great kindness to me. In, in sparing my life. 
but I can't flee to the mountains. This disaster will overtake me and I'll die. Look, here is a town near enough to run to, and it's small. Let me flee to it. It is very small, isn't it? Then my, then my life will be spared. He said to him, very well, I will grant this request too. I will, I will not overthrow the town you speak of, but flee there quickly because I cannot do anything until you reach it. That is why the town was called Zor. By the time Lot reached Zor, the sun had risen over the land. Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. Thus he overthrew those cities and the entire plain, including all those living in the cities and all the vegetation in the land. But Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. <laughs> Early the next morning, Abraham got up and returned to the place where he had stood before the Lord. He looked down toward Sodom and Gomorrah, toward all the land of the plain, and he saw dense smoke rising from the land like smoke from a furnace. So when God destroyed the cities of the plain, he remembered Abraham, and he brought Lot out of the catastrophe that overthrew the cities where Lot had lived. So you think about that. That happened this quick, you know. Um, it burnt down to the ground. All the people in it and all of its all, 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 everything that was in there, the vegetation, the, the towers, the, the buildings, everything, it all burnt down to the ground because of their disobedience. So you think about it, when God brings judgment into certain situations and certain people, you do not want to be in the, in the way of that, especially if you're being disobedient to God, because you don't know what God is going to bring onto that situation or onto those people or onto that city or whatever it might be. So you need to get out and you need to get out now. And that is my message, y'all. Don't be, don't, gosh, I can't say that enough. Don't be disobedient. Be obedient. Listen. And it doesn't matter what you leave behind because you can get those things back, you know. And you got to look at it this way. The blessings that are coming for your obedience that you are listening to God when he is telling you to get out of that situation are going to be even more than what you left behind. So what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Be obedient to God. Get out of that situation. Leave those people behind. Cut them off. Leave that situation behind and move forward because God is going to take care of you. God is going to take care of you. Whatever he's called you out of, he's going to elevate you. He's going to elevate you. It's going to work. It's going to turn around and work in your favor. Whatever it is that he's called you out of, whatever people he's removed from your life or removing from your life, I should say, he's going to turn it around and make it into your blessing. So go, go, go go. I love y'all. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.